Welcome to the Amber James Museum and to our series, the Alumni Interview Series. And today we have with us Dr. Pauline Christie, old girl, retired senior lecturer of the Department of Language and Linguistics at the University of the West Indies, Mona, and a long devotee of St. Andrew High School. At most of our functions, you'll see her here. Much loved teacher and former head girl. So let's begin. Dr. Christie, it's wonderful having you with us, and we want you to talk a little bit about school in the good old days. We know that you must have some fond memories. So let's talk about the first day that you can remember, and kind of who was in charge? Who was it, the headmistress, or sort of uniforms? Tell us a little bit about those days. Ms. Gartrow was the headmistress, of course. She was the headmistress when I came back as a teacher as well. Uh, my first day of school, I have no idea. <laughs> I had a, an older sister at school, of course. So when I came, it wasn't really new to me. I'd been quite a few times before. The uniform was a red and white tunic. You bought in a couple of things because of the place. But of course, when I came, it was all time. And we couldn't get a lot of stuff that we would have had. So that, um, the, I think my uniforms were slightly darker in color than most of them because we had to take what we could get. The big one with white roses and clothes, shoes and stuff, etc. And how about the houses? What you were. Everything correct. And at that time we only had a few houses. Four houses. Four houses. Uh -huh. Right. Because I used to win most things. In fact, before I came, my sister told me she was sure I was going to be Kamel because Kamel was going to a face She was in those days, um, sisters didn't go into the same house. Okay. She was in Anderson. <laughs> and you were in Kamel? And my the younger sister who came later was in Arkansas. <laughs> we spent. Um, Oh. And how tell us a little bit about the sisters. You were what are their names? Barbara. She That's a bit well, this one was Barbara. Barbara. Mm -hmm. And Helen. And Helen. 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 Okay. Wonderful. Now tell us a little bit about you you eventually became head girl in between nineteen what? Between nineteen forty nine and nineteen. Nineteen fifty. I took high school in '49, mm -hmm. and um, but I came back after that for a term. Mm -hmm. My mother insisted I had a scholarship in those days. Of course, scholarships were few and far between, and um, she insisted I should come back. I think one of my first, well, among my first words when I heard that from the scholarship, well, I thought, well, no, I can do school. <laughs> and of course, that was the Jamaica scholarship, mm -hmm. right? And you went off to. And were to do what? French and French. Uh, French. French. Yeah. I gather you did a bit of Latin too. Well, in Scottish history, we have to do one thing. You had to do more than Latin. Uh, in Latin and uh, what they call moral philosophy. I think nowadays it's called ethics. Okay. Well, in other words, it's called right. ethics. Right. Because I have fond memories of you teaching me Latin. And I nice. remember you. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I think you taught me both, but I remember the Latin lessons more than the French. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Edinburgh must have been quite an experience, leaving Jamaica for the first time. Quite true, on the banana boat. On the banana boat. <laughs> I was saying to somebody the other day, five of us, I think just five of us, were going up to university on the boat, and I think I'm the last one on the night. It just kind of moved off the scene. Right, right. When you say five of you, you mean five Jamaicans were Jamaica going off? And did you keep in touch with those those five or you some of them? Yes. Yeah. They're all there. <laughs> Barry Record was one, he was the last one. Who was that? Barry Record. Oh Barry Record, yeah. yes. What was he going off to do? Literature? I didn't know. Yeah. He was going to Oxford, I think. Mm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm.